on the carpet going up almost going down and then the big ass bear Yeah. I don't know if you can see the bear, but I know you can see me. Here I am at Denver Comic Con. You gotta look at some of this shit. It's awesome. How are you guys doing? Doing good? Yeah. Right? Sharing with people. Hell yeah. It's even a world championship. Damn. Oh my gosh. Amazing. All right, what up everybody? Sorry I've been gone for so long. Uh, I have been moving into my new house. I know you can't really see it, but that's okay. I'll show you the important parts. And I just wanted to give you guys an update as to why a video didn't come out this last weekend. Uh, you know, I was moving. Denver Comic Con happened. Woo! And it's Father's Day. So I wanted to hang out with my son and my beautiful wife. Uh, but I'm just gonna give you an update as to what I've been doing. So, obviously, I'm going to talk mainly about Denver Comic Con because besides video games, comics are a huge passion of mine. It goes... Football. Sorry, everything else. It came first. Then, comics and video games are kind of at a close second. And I just had a blast this weekend. I got to hang out with my buddy Zeke all weekend long. Thanks, Zeke. You're my... Comic Con buddy, that was we had a blast, and I'm just gonna start going into what I did at Denver Comic Con. Uh, so at first I went to a TMNT panel. Sorry for all of you that don't speak Turtle, but that is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle panel. It had Kevin Eastman, friggin' Freddie Williams the uh, second. Man, I can't even list all the people that were there. They were all a bunch of fantastic artists and writers that have been working on the ongoing series. And they actually made an announcement that the TMNT comic that's going on right now is going to start releasing macros of all four of the turtles. Which, a macro is a gigantic comic. Which they say it's going to be about 100 pages of each one of the turtles. And that's exciting. It's just always good to get more in-depth with these characters because I love the turtles so much. And just reading more about them, I can't not do it. I love it. Uh, and then, of course, you do the things that you do at a Comic-Con, like getting a bunch of stuff signed. Uh, like th these two, for example, I got Steve Orlando to sign, which, I mean, Marvin, <laughs> Marvin the Martian and Martian Manhunter crossover is <laughs> really fun, and he wrote that, and then he's also been doing a lot of stuff with The Shadow and Batman recently, so that's been fun been enjoying both of those and then Frank Terry and I'm sure sorry guys I'm sure I'm butchering your names but he signed this uh, Jughead the Hunger for me and that's been a really fun issue or series not issue and then uh, Charles Soul signed some of these for me bang and a buttload of X's so really I'm just I should go through these quicker or we'll be here all day uh, and then another big awesome name uh, stuff that I got signed was from Greg Capullo and Jonathan oh my gosh Glapian I can't I can't pronounce your name dude it's awesome but hard to say but I got them both to sign a couple of medals for me which of course again fantastic series go read it if you haven't been Peter Tomsey signed a bunch of these like Superman covers for me they're freaking sick I, oh my gosh and the story, of course, is amazing if you're a Superman fan and like a dad because in the whole thing, Superman is kind of becoming a father as well as a superhero. So that's fun. Uh, and as I said before, Freddie Williams II was there and he signed some sick covers for me. Like, oh my gosh, the whole thing with Donatello and Metalhead is just gorgeous. 
just obviously pure art. And then I got a couple of these uh, TMNT Batman crossovers signed from him. So, always fun, always amazing. And then, of course, from the master himself. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! We're not worthy! Oh my gosh, bow down to the greatness of Kevin Eastman. This is actually the Denver Comic Con uh, exclusive cover of issue 83. And of course, you see every time he signs his name, he draws a turtle. And he's just one of the coolest guys to talk to. Because the whole time I was there, he totally just let us talk to him. He was super nice. Totally talked back. Uh, and man, when they say never meet your heroes, they are not talking about Kevin Eastman. Because he's just a blast to meet. And that's, of course, what Comic-Con is for, so you can meet these great people. And wherever you, you happen to be, definitely look into Comic-Con. I'm sure there's one at least near you. If you're in Denver, you should have gone, and you should go from now on, because they're freaking fun. Uh, but more on the video game side of things, I actually saw a cool collection of stuff while I was there. There was a company that was nice enough to bring in a bunch of really rare games I have never seen before. And just to name a couple, there was Little Samson, the Myriad 6 and 1, in the case, like brand new. That's crazy. Uh, stadium events, freaking the sculptures cut of Clay Fighter, and I didn't even know they had a box or like instruction booklet for that game. Unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of that for some reason. I don't know why. But, and then of course, a sealed copy of Ninja Turtles, which isn't that rare but it's the turtle so it's amazing and then the one that just blew my freaking mind was they had a copy of Nintendo World Champion night or the 1990 edition of it and just to see that in person is really cool to see that bit of video game history and uh, that was pretty much those are the big bullet points of the comic-con and I just wanted to let you guys in on it what I was up to and I'll show you what the new room is going to be. It doesn't exactly look like it's going to look when I start filming in here. But bam, look at that space. Yeah, this is all mine and my wife's because, you know, we share this stuff. But this is going to be a fun room to start doing some new stuff with you guys. And I have an episode coming out next weekend or this weekend. Sorry, I forgot it's Monday. So keep an eye out for that, and I think you'll be interested to know that it stars a pair of brothers. Who the heck could that be? Hmm. You'll just have to come back and watch it. Thanks you guys for hanging out. Uh, again, if you like my stuff, like, subscribe, and I will see you later. And I'm back real quick because I forgot to say Happy late Father's Day to all you fathers out there, and especially to my dad for just being an amazing father and totally being there whenever I need him, and for, of course, making me who I am today. Love you, Dad, and the rest of you guys, have a good rest of your week. See you later.